Hello, how are you guys doing? My name is Andres and I'm right here in my beautiful kitchen. I have a very interesting dish. I come from Lima, Peru and all my life I've grown with this dish. It's a very traditional Peruvian dish and it's called Gauza and it comes from the Quechua language which was a language from our ancestors in Peru an ancient civilization called the Incas and it means potatoes here we have one mix of potatoes with some ají limo paste a little bit of salt and garlic powder here I have a, a different kind of causa this one is gonna be pink or pinkish or purple maybe potatoes and ají limo and a bit of uh, beet puree and that will gonna turn in pink mashed sweet potatoes here I have some soy meat, tomato and pepper paste, which is made out of, which has like mayonnaise and a little bit of little spots of like black pepper and garlic powder. And these are gonna be the two main sauces for the causa. Next up, we have the uh, some pesto, obviously vegan, made out of almonds and a little bit of nutritional yeast, a bit of lemon and olive oil and some carrots. And for the sweet one, I have some just some blueberries and the star of the show, the avocado fudge that I make. Avocado, coconut cream, cocoa powder, stevia, and a little bit of soy milk. And I have some different garnishes like parsley, onions, peppers, and walnuts. But let's get going. I'm gonna start mashing this until I get like a little consistency. Doughy. You take a spoon, potato. This is the first layer. Yes, soy meat. And the sauce for the causa is, for this one at least, the traditional one, take a little bit of the tomato paste. So this is how it looks. This is the first one. This is how it's supposed to look. Causa. You put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes because the potatoes are still gonna be warm. Pretty much a potato tower. And you have the second one. And you will see eventually that it's gonna turn pink. This is how they look. I'm gonna put a layer of potato. I just think this is a cute touch. And I'm just gonna put some parsley on top. So look at it, it's potato layers and you, have, and you see the chunks, recognizable chunks of carrots. Okay, I'm back. On the last one, the sweet potato causa. You do not add any ajilimo here because this is gonna be a sweet causa. You put it here. Here we have it. Look how velvety it looks. You know, sometimes I do get like very caught on in making things perfect. Here we have it. And very carefully, you just fold it. This is a pyramid of sweet potatoes and blueberries and uh, avocado fudge. Dress it up however you want. Traditional causa. Here is the beet causa. Sweet potatoes. Mm, mm, mm. 